Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create website with Weebly. Weebly is an e-commerce platform by Square, so basically you can create your online store or you can also just create your website with Weebly. It's very easy and I'm just going to skip the signing up part because it's literally super easy all you have to do is go to weebly.com and then go sign up through your emails or maybe through your googles insert your details there and then you can continue and edit your site so go ahead and go to weebly.com sign up and then we're going to continue to create our website all right so once you've entered your name and your email on the signing up part Weebly is going to ask you about what kind of website would you like to create. So either you will want to create a website with an online store or maybe you just want to create a regular website. And today I'm just going to work with a regular website. So I'm going to go ahead and click I just need a website. Next, you're going to want to choose from multiple different theme that they offer you. So you don't have to create it from scratch you can just use any of this available templates they have a theme for business they have theme for portfolio personal event blog coming soon as well as others so you can go ahead take your time and scroll around and try to find the perfect theme or the perfect templates for you and then you can start from there all right, so I've chosen a theme for me and it is originally for a blog website or website with short stories in it. I kind of like how it looks like. And after you've done choosing a theme, they're going to ask you to select a domain name. Now, in order to use the domain name provided by Weebly, you're going to want to upgrade your plan. And if you don't want to update your domain for now all you have to do is click on this x box right here and it's going to bring you into the editor so i'm going to go ahead and reload this editor all right and here is how it looks like so i'm going to run through briefly about how this editor works first of all on the top screen over here you're going to be able to see some menu that are going to show you the pages of the website that you have the overall theme the apps that are installed in it and you can actually add some more apps if you want however not all apps are free so some apps are only going to be able to be installed if you upgrade your plan and then you have settings you have help and you also have the point of view or the view of your website so you can choose whether you want to see your website design in desktop view or in mobile view we're going to go back to it later after we're done editing our website so i'm just going to leave it with the desktop view for now next on the left side of the screen you'll be able to see the navigation bar and the elements that you're going to be able to add into your website so currently my pre-made website have several things that i notice first we have this logo sections i believe or title sections so you have the options to use text over here or if you would like to upload your logo you can just go ahead and do that and then on the right side right here i have the navigations menu of my website so here's the home button the about one the press one as well as the contact one and below it, I have these banners right here. And like I said earlier, this theme is specifically made at first for some sort of short stories or maybe some blogs. And you don't have to exactly follow the style of the theme that you choose. This is going to be a very good base, but you can still let your imagination and your creativity run free. So go ahead and change things you will want to change so let's start with this my site logo sections over here so you have three options when you hover your clicker on top of this sections right here you can turn it off which means that it's just going to remove these logo slash title sections you can create your text and if you would like to change your text all you have to do is double click on this text and then highlight it and change it to however you like. For example, I want to name my blog website as do 
mind me something like that or you can also just upload your logo by clicking on this logo options right here and then it's going to give you this pop-up box that would allows you to upload a pictures from your computer so you can just go ahead and click upload a photo from your computers right here and upload your logo if you want to i'm just going to use text for now so this is the text that i'm going to use and i'm just going to leave it as it is next we have this picture sections right here so this is basically a website banner with pictures elements on it and if you click on it it's going to show you these two options so you can edit the background or you can replace the header layout and let's see what the notifications say so if you choose to replace the layout it's going to delete all contents in the sections and you will not be able to undo it so if you want to do that you can do it if not, you can just edit the background and then replace it into a pictures that you want. So let's say I'm going to try to replace it with the pictures that I have. Now, most of the time, the additional banner or the additional pictures that I have for my website comes from Canva. So I will want to pre-made the designs first before I insert it into my website platform. And I'm going to show you real quick how I usually do that. So of course, you're going to want to open Canva. I do have the Canva Pro account, but you can just totally do the steps even with the free account. All you have to do is go to the search bar at the home page right here and then go to try to find for, let's say, a website template. Go ahead and type in website and if you have a specific website in mind like maybe you want to try to find a blog template or maybe some jewelry website you can definitely go even more further with the keyword go ahead and type it in but i'm just going to use website for now and then for example we want to maybe use this one so you can start by clicking this customize this template and then alter it to however you want it to be download it and then upload it into your website platform it's as easy as that so i'm going to go back to my weebly right here and i'm going to replace this image so let's say i'm going to upload it from my computer all right so here is the background that i've uploaded these are just a copyright free pictures that i downloaded from a platform a free platform so i'm just going to use copyright free pictures for example for this tutorial today and once We've uploaded the pictures, we have the options to edit it even more. We can zoom it in, we can blur it, we can darken it and put filters if we want to. I'm just going to leave it as it is and click on save. And if your picture have quite a large size, it's going to make it load a little bit longer. So just be patient about it. And now I have this text right here. Now let's say that I don't really want to use this text or maybe I just want to move it so that it will not be in this awkward positions right here. So if you would want to move an element, all I have to do is click on this box right here and then move it to where you want it to be. But the downside of Weebly is that some elements have limited place. So for example, this text right here doesn't really have much place to move around on but you can see that it could still move so let's say i do want to put it here or if you would like to delete it all i have to do is just click on this delete button over here and it's going to be deleted and if you'd like to re-add it all i have to do is click on the elements on the left side of your screens right here and drag it into your page all right so that is the basic of how you can edit your website in weebly if you would like to change some pictures or some elements, simply hover your clickers on top of it. Double click on it if it's a text and then this bar right here will show and you can edit your text through there. In order to change your text, you can just highlight the text you want to change and then retype it. 
If it's a picture, you can always click edit background or replace the header layout if you want. And if you would like to add up more elements, all you have to do is go to the elements that you're searching for on the left side of the screen and then hold the elements that you want and bring it into your website. And that's basically it. That is how you can build a website on Weebly.com. It's very, very easy. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.